Hey folks, Blackcross here, and welcome back to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunts. Okay, so in the last video, um, <laughs> um, we were helping this one old guy who apparently had, uh, the ability to where he could, like, sense things, I suppose. <laughs> it's kind of weird, because it's like we had to save his goat, called Princess. Then he asked us to bring a living thing, which we brought a rat. In which case, he did a couple of sayings and stuff, and then all of a sudden he talked in like a third voice, and it turned out that the Baron's wife is dead. But apparently there was a child. Come on, Roach. That great. And then I was going to start the video uh, at the Baron's place, and then I saw that was in flames. So, uh... Yeah. Things are going to be a little bit weird now. <laughs> Like, oh shit, things are not looking good right now. Dude, do you not realize the house is on fire? That shows you how much they care. Not diddly shit. Ain't tight, guys. I'm coming. Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? I believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fine. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. See what I can do. Hurry now, quick! All right. Well, we're gonna see what what we can do. Damn it! Turn off the smoke. Gotta hurry. There's got to be a way around this mess. Nearby. Well, this ain't gonna look good. Not even sure where I'm going. Yeah, this is gonna be uh, interesting. Okay. We need to figure out how we're gonna get in there. Come on, get through.
Okay, right here. I didn't see the brother, so... Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating him for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? They ran from you, didn't they? There we go. That wasn't so bad. We need to talk. Yeah. A lot needs to be explained. Finger on Samara. Not once. And on Anna. That's another story. <laughs> she always knew how to spark my ire. Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place, ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage, for only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. You knew they had run away from the start? Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Pretty bad one. Gotta admit, I do think you're a prick. Not because you couldn't control them, but because you drove them away. What? Don't play the idiot. You gave them no choice. Anna. And I, it wasn't as it seemed, seems. All right, I'm all ears. Tell me what happened, the truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. 
a large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. Tomorrow present for all this, she see you quarrel. Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. Maybe she was just afraid. Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? Oi. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and a pillar instead. Staggered backwards onto the table. Spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. What happened next? Next. It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, tiny thing, defenseless, on bloody sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important. Or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. And she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher? My child was dead. That is a painful thing to feel, but the problem is, is that not doing a funeral, in according to this game, is a lore, created a botulin. So on the one hand, I do feel for him. On the other hand, he doesn't realize what he just did, but... I sympathize. I do. Thank you. And know that I hope you find your Siri. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking what? A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how? How does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual, and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob, a guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it might finally rest in peace.
Hmm. I mean, the first option is probably the more synthesized way. But, that's going to be the problem, is figuring out how to do that. Still not sure what to do. Whatever you decide, we must put an end to my child's suffering. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a leprechaun, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel? To dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. I know he's not liking hearing all this. No one would, in all honesty. But still. A few hours later. A bit further. Follow me. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and read up on bo botchlings. See what we can figure out. Maybe he's here? Curse ones. Saying a botchling's ugly is like saying shit's not particularly tasty. Can't say it's a lie, but it doesn't exactly cover the whole truth either. Botchlings are perhaps the most repulsing creature a witcher will ever have to displease of meeting. Born of dead, unwanted babies, discarded without a proper bearer, their appearance is that of a partially decaying fetus. Ugh. Their unformed flesh twists with hate, fear, and malice. These hideous creatures feed on the blood of pregnant women, driven by a mad hunger that most often leads to their victim's death. Okay, looks like the sign that we have... Okay. Okay. We'll see what we can do. The name. No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. He has a point. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Watch things on the prowl. There it is. Look. Oh, gosh. Take it in your arms, quick. And if it goes Garrity, it'll bite us in the arse before we know it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets blaring restless? It'll bite through your jugular, and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling, I'll calm it with magic. We're gonna Take try it. it. Take it in your arms. Come on. We're gonna try to do it right the first time, okay? Back to the 
fortress. With this? As I recall, you were the one who wanted to test the old legends and change it into a leper camp. Oh, fuck. We have to do this. Okay? We're doing good so far. If we can do this and at least make amends of this, I think it'll be for the better. I mean, if what he says is true and turning it into a guardian, then that's probably going to be the best thing we can ask for, right? At least that's what I'm thinking. Some of you probably decided to kill him straight off the back. Oh, come on, you son of a bitch. Pest tightly! It's driving something fierce! Can't hold it! Calm it somehow! Oh. Oh. Quiet now. It's a good thing I equipped that. And it's a good thing I read up on it. Oh crap. Ah shit. Whew. This is actually a lot harder than I thought. I know a lot of you are going to be telling me you should have just killed it. Maybe I should have. I'm too good of a person, damn it. I wanted to test the old legends and change it into a leprechaun. Oh, fuck. Come on. Well, you like to take your time, don't you? little son of a bitch. Can't hold it! Come 
There now. But, but what do you want to do with it? Me? Nothing. This is your job. Told you, gotta bury it under the threshold. If the tales are true, by tomorrow it'll be a leprechaun. From then on, it'll watch over your house and help me find your family. That protective shield actually helps quite a bit. There we go. Please let there be no more. Chosen a name? No. So think of one. It's important. It's it's a girl. What would Anna have named her? Again, I hope there's no more. I don't think I can take another hit. Okay. Gosh. What now? Repeat after me. By the powers of earth and sky. By the powers of earth and sky. By the world that was to be your home. By the world that was to be your home. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. I name thee, say her name, and embrace thee as my daughter. I name thee, Daya, and embrace thee as my daughter. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But... No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubricant. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. Well, we are now at level 4, finally.
Let's see, what can we do? There we go. Okay. That might come in handy for later on. Summon the lovers in where the Boshlin is buried. Okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and end the video here. But in the next video, we will summon our lumber skin. I think that's what it's pronounced. I hope I pronounced it right. But anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Till then, this is Blackcross signing off. Take care, guys.